Hello, everybody. Hope everybody is doing amazing. So, I just got finished with my um, late night session. Um, kind of wanted to touch base a little bit. I think it's important that I um, share a little something that I shared with a client tonight. Um, you know, we desire to have relationships. We desire to have love in our life, right? But um, what I continue to deal with inside of my um, wisdom coaching sessions is that the intimacy that you want and desire tends to get capped off based upon our beliefs and also our expectations. So with that said, I just want to let you know that one of the hardest parts about um, deciding that you're wanting to be in a relationship and doing so in the most healthy way that you can and also in a way to where you're not depleted um, the best way to do so is to really number one know your sexual truth this is first and foremost number two you need to know what you desire and what you want in a relationship. Also, <laughs> you want to make sure that when you are wanting a relationship, you need to ask yourself, in your past love affairs, did you constantly find yourself saying these words to yourself? The words are, I can always do better or does he or she even know who I am I am like a player I can be with all kinds of people dudes still want me women still want me do you know that I could still be out here doing what I'm doing but I'm messing with you so I wanted to talk about just being honest with yourself if you constantly find yourself having this conversation with yourself that your player card is a phone call away or your player card is in your back pocket because you do not really feel confident that the relationship you're in is worthy or um, to the level that you think it should be then you may want to be mindful that if every time you guys get into it or you have a disappointment or you feel some type of way in the relationship or the dynamic, the first thing you say is, hmm, they don't know who I am. I still got I still got my ex's number on speed dial or I still got this going on and I still can have this man or that man. Hey Marcus, I get it. But if that's what you're constantly going back to, do you really want to be in a relationship? You got to ask yourself this real stuff. Like, I see so many clients or so many people that reach out to me in my inbox. They say they want a relationship, but they don't want to get rid of the player's card in the back pocket. Or they don't really want to acknowledge that the player's card is always the go-to spot in the mind because that's their safety net if something doesn't go right so um the problem is when you have that as your back pocket in that in your back pocket or you have that as a backup plan energetically that is a part of the dynamic in your relationship and you think the other person can't feel that <laughs> you think they don't know that you are at the brink anytime they disappoint you this is why your relationship can't get no deeper. This is why you're at your capacity. Because of your thinking that you don't want to 
get hurt again. Because that's really what it comes down to. If you really want intimacy and you really want a relationship, you got to be all in. And I'm not saying you have to be all in with one person, but you got to be all in in whatever you're trying to do. Do you know your sexual truth? Do you know what you really want and desire sexually? Do you know what you really want and desire in a loving union with somebody else or somebody else? Several different people? I mean, you have to be able to be willing to be open to yourself, true to your sexual truth and to yourself what you want, really want to do. A lot of times you put these high expectations on people and we hooking up with them. We're not really in a relationship with them. We are claiming relationships and they're hookups. They're not relationships, man. You just go over there, you have sex, and you bounce. You go over there, he's he opens the door and leaves it open for you. You ain't got no key. <laughs> That's not a relationship. That's a hookup. If you want to upgrade it, then there has to be some changes. One way or the other. You're either going to remain a hookup inevitably, or you want to upgrade it to something more. But only you can understand what it is you really want. And first and foremost, we have to be open and honest with self. A lot of us aren't doing that. A lot of us really just want to be like, I want to have a relationship. I want to be in a relationship. Do you or do you not? Because you're one foot in and one foot out. Let her say something you don't like. Oh, well, she don't even know. I can call Sarah right now. She'll come over here. <laughs> it's like, okay, but is that what you want? Is that what she wants you to do? What are you doing? That's always your fallback. <laughs> that is not necessary when you're in a fulfilling, loving relationship and you are cool with how you got things going. If you're in a hooked up situation and scenario, this is always the fallback. This is always the internal dialogue we have with ourselves. And we don't want to own the shit. We don't want to be honest. So that's what it is. Let's keep it a buck. We don't really want to be in an intimate relationship to where we feel fulfilled because we fear it we're afraid we're scared and it goes for men and women it's not just men it is not just women we all have our own personal fears so in order for us to sit down and decide i'm enjoying the hookup i like how we flow however I don't know if I really want to go to the next level with this person. Okay, then this is when you need to get serious and sit down and decide in your heart, mind, and soul what it is you need, not necessarily want. What is it you need? So now you got to get down to the core of you. What is your sexual truth? Do you know it? Are you aware of it? If not, I'll put the link in here. You can watch my YouTube channel. It's about an hour and I'm going to give you some real truths about sexual truths and what you need to do in order to be able to create in your mind the reality of what you need. And then look at what you got going on. The situation, scenario, or hookup that you got with this person. You guys are not in a relationship, but you're putting your relationship expectations on it and it has not upgraded to that level. Then you need to look at it for what it is. If you just go through over there at night and then you come home that same night, that's a hookup. If you're spending the night and you come back the next morning, that's a hookup. If you don't have no key and she don't have no key, now we're just hooking up. Is that right or wrong? That's y'all's business. But the reality is that's the grade level you're at. If you're hooking up and you're enjoying it, but you want more, then you have to look inside of self and ask you, do I want to do more with this? Or am I clueless to what it is that's going on? And am I beginning to get more critical of the person I'm hooking up with? Because when you become critical and constantly always going off about stuff and arguing about stuff and you're at hookup status, that doesn't make any sense. Because you still got your player card in the back pocket. What is it you want to do? <laughs> This is why I love being a coach, because I love being like, well, what is this? <laughs> you're not really in a relationship, you're in a hookup. Okay, so that's what it is. Now, let's acknowledge that first. 
then let's talk about what is it you need from a woman or a man. Then, once we decide that, what is your sexual truth? Then we need to know, can that person keep up with your sexual truth? Is their sexual truth compatible to yours? Listen, it's, it's, it's this deep. But we, we a lot of times we hook it up with no purpose. We don't even know. Is this somebody you can, you can really consider yourself being in a relationship with? If not, then keep it where it's at. And, and, and open your options up. But then don't play the game. Be honest. See, the hard part about relationships isn't that the relationships can't become more. A lot of times it's our beliefs and expectations that's killing the intimacy in the relationship. I'm going to say that again. Our beliefs and our expectations is killing the intimacy in the relationships. Because as soon as we think we're in a relationship, but really it hasn't upgraded to that, we just think it is, we start to acting different, doing dif different, expecting different. Why? Only we can answer that. But I can tell you why. It is your beliefs and your expectations that shifts and changes as soon as you start to say we are together. Then all of a sudden we're together now things are going to shift and change and be in a different type of dynamic. So now what? Hmm? Are we willing to look at it for what it is? Or are we going to continue to play it off like, well, I like it and everything, but I wish it was this, I wish it was that. And don't he know that it don't take but one time and I can call such and such and he'll be over here? Then you, you still got your player card in your back pocket. You're not technically really giving it your all because you always have in the back of your mind that you have something in the backup plan. When you do these kind of things and actions, it really does cap off the limitless level to what you can become in your relationship. Listen, take heed to what I'm saying. Be honest with you. Know your sexual truth. Start to really understand if you are really keeping that player card in your back pocket. Is it that you're a player or is it that you're afraid of being hurt? Those are two different reasons. If you're really a player, then own that shit and be like, this is what I want in my relationship dynamic. And I want to be authentic and be who I am in my truth. Then you won't have the drama. You will have what you need in your life. It's that simple. So I'm out of here, guys. I just wanted to give you this raw because, you know, my coaching sessions have been so dope in the last couple of days because it's really helping me to really help women and men to see their, again, I'm going to say it, their beliefs and their expectations is killing the intimacy in their relationship. And so now I'm just trying to prick and prod those beliefs. Are they willing to change them? Are they willing to listen? Are they willing to make some different decisions? And then get different results. It all comes down to the will, the desire, the beliefs. Hey, Arkini. And, and being able to be honest with self. That's what it comes down to. When you decide, hey, I can become a better lover. I can do some things a little different and see how it changes things, it will definitely improve. Like Marcus said right here, expectations without conversations. And that's what, exactly what it is. I tell clients all the time, if you want a better result, you have to sit down and have some uncomfortable conversations. <laughs> it's just what it is. And guess what happens? When it gets uncomfortable, when there's things that are exposed about each other to where we can allow them to be in their true, honest, authentic self, then we're able to understand them in the understanding. Like I said in my writing the other day, or maybe it was earlier today, in the understanding of the other person, then our capacity to forgive them increases. It all comes down to this. And then not to mention just that, but when we understand our lover, we begin to deepen the intimacy. All of this is how it happens to be. 
this is how we improve the longevity and we become more long term just takes it takes some real true honest tough conversations but being honest and being as honest with you first helps you to become more honest and authentic in your love affairs. It's just what it is. Because the more honest you are in your love affairs, the more honest you can be in your with your love interest. And now they're able to understand you. And in the understanding, the forgiveness becomes a much easier um, act within the love affair. I hope I'm making sense for you guys. I hope this is making sense. I hope it's helping you to see that if you're holding on to old ways or old old things that you used to do and you're trying to upgrade and change your current status in your love affairs, you're not going to be able to take that with you unless you want to change and shift the dynamic into something else. And then in that change, you get to now develop a love affair as to the design of what you need and not just want. I'm just saying. Make sure you guys share this video. I'm getting ready to get me some rest. I've been up quite a bit today. Um, and then not just that. I just have had quite a few um, things going on with my clients. So I'm just trying to really relax this evening. But I think it's imperative that I let it be known right now and here that you can have what you want in love affairs. It just requires for you to be the best, the best version of yourself. You need to learn to be very honest, very open. And also you need to realize that your sexual truth will impact your love affair, period. So if you can't be honest in those things, you might not want to start a love affair. You may want to wait and have the love affair with you. And now we're talking about love itself. Uh-oh. That's not so sexy, but it's real shit. If you want a good love affair, you better love you, honey. That's what that's the real stuff. So tomorrow at six I think I said six o'clock. Tomorrow at six o'clock. I'm gonna be going live about um self love act take two where I'm going to talk about self accountability so hopefully you guys will join me tomorrow um, I'll be here talking about how self accountability is another great self love care act all right so I'm out of here guys make sure you share this video and um, stay safe man um, and like I said be sure to understand having the player card in the back pocket isn't always isn't always to your advantage if that's your fallback. And I'll go back live again on this again, but I just want you to think about that. If you're still holding on to old ways, then um, yeah, you may not want to settle down. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm out of here. Behave and be safe. It's Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best kept. Bye, guys.